welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. This is going to be the angel messages as well as the universe has your back. You're gonna, we're going to get some cards from there. And guardian messages, I believe that's the last thing. So this is going to be the overview of everything because this popped out when I was shuffling. So I think this is a really good card for especially right now and what's going on with the collective. Um, and it says, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. I love that card. I have not went through the whole deck to see each and every card, but that card was very beautiful as I was shuffling. So we're going to go with the Guardian deck first. Just because this has more detail what's going on. And then we'll just go from there. Each, okay, so let me um, tell you exactly what's going go, what's gonna to happen. Each um, set of cards is for one day of the week. So since today is Tuesday, and I will be uploading this on Tuesday, um, the first card set will be for Tuesday and then we're going to go on um, I believe I want to do this from Tuesday to Tuesday but we'll see how that works out um, as we go along the divine may have something else in store for me to stop it on a certain day but I believe I want to do this from Tuesday to Tuesday just because I don't do the angel messages every day like I used to um, I've gotten a little more busier so I believe this is going to go from Tuesday to Tuesday. Tuesday of this week to Tuesday of next week. And this is going to be the messages for that particular day. So the first card will be for today. And the first card is Six of Abundance. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humility humility knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future consider volunteering for a charitable organization so this is for today and we're going to continue to go for the rest of the days and then we'll go into the, okay those fail We'll go into the um, other days, into the other decks, same way. So, let me just get these, you guys. Those fell pretty far. Okay. So, we have the Seven of Thought. This is going to be for Wednesday. Seven of thought. You've been confused about a situation in your life, and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So this is going to be for Thursday. Six of action. What a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success. Bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone can help you offer assistance, Know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Do not turn down any help. Hey. So we got Tuesday, we have Wednesday, Thursday, and I think I'm going to do Friday on that end. Yeah, I'm going to do Friday on that end. The 
the four of thought. Spend time and nurture. Listen for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice. Because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answer you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next steps shall be. Meditation can be very powerful. Healer of thoughts. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space and make you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring. Have a wonderful sense of humor and offer a lot of life experience. Ace of Action. This shrub is Herald, a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action, and if you have been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your ability. Fair decision. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there is nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. Six of emotions. Memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was. People you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children could have been like could be an important issue or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. Then we're going to go on to the angel messages. Schooling, studying, and education help your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. Maya.
And that's for today. Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. Desiree, no conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and, com and comfort you. Serafina, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous situations to appear. Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. I hope I'm saying this name right. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Celesty. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. And then we have the universe is your, the universe has your back. And this is just going to wrap up for that day. And just little words of encouragement. So this will be for today, which is Tuesday. My outer experiences are reflections of my inner condition. I'm sorry. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. The lines aren't going to be great, you guys, but that's the messages. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayers. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear 
through the eyes of the teacher of love. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Hope is the conduit for miracles. When I connect when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change the mind. But when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. I choose to learn through love. I don't know. This one is calling me, so I'm just going to take it. both of them actually so this is the bottom of the deck when I think I've surrendered I surrender more and then I'm going to read the last card that fell on top of that one in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right minded thinking and the energy of love So I thank you guys for watching. I hope your week goes great. Again, this is from Tuesday to Tuesday. And I will be back with another one on next Tuesday. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment if you enjoyed the reading. If not, still leave a comment. Let me know. Have a great evening.